I had an amazing conversation with someone today about female friendship and I want to share it with you. When I was young, I was on a softball team. That softball team ended up winning the New England championship. We were a tight team. We were amazing. And my experience within that team was that I was a bench warmer. I remember feeling so proud to be on that team. And every day when I sat on that bench and watched my teammates perform, I was in awe of them. I cheered them on. I didn't care that it wasn't in the game. I knew that I needed to become a better player to get in that game. So I cheered the shit on my teammates. When we won the championship, I felt as part of it as they did. We held the banner. I was so proud to be there. And I remember at the banquet, we, they played the song One Moment in Time by Whitney Houston, and we all hugged each other in a circle and bawled our eyes out. And the parents were crying with us. And like, here's the thing. My core memory of female friendship is that you all have each other's backs. You are a team. The team's best interest is your best interest. And then I went out into life and realized, wow, that hometown experience is not what is happening in other places. Um, and it becomes really disappointing where, you know, I then became one of the stars on the field. And I can't say that everybody who wasn't out on the field, and I'm using the field as a metaphor, I, I, not everybody's going to cheer you on the way you would cheer them on. And it's a harsh reality. But my point is, find the people who cheer you on from the sidelines as much as you would cheer them on when they are shining. It's really rare to find. Probably gonna have to go quality over quantity and that's okay. Who wants you to shine regardless of what it does for them? That's your answer in female friendships. We need more of it. Stay for more if you are that woman who wants to cheer on other women because that's, that's the shit that I want to bring together. Okay, have a good day, everybody.